Hello everyone, Martin Pritchett here from Martin Pritchett Wildlife Photography and Videography. 6am it is right now. A nice, nice morning. Extremely foggy, but not too cold. Which is quite nice for photography and filming. I wonder how many times I'm going to say nice. <laughs> Let's see, shall we, through the entire video. Count them. <laughs> oh, you watch, I will say it again now. Just on purpose. Oh, but you'll have to find out. I've got my Pepsi in the back and also a nice hot coffee in a flask. So let's make a move. Let's see what can be had today. <laughs> I thought I'd do a real quick random stop just to show you something. Right now in front of me, this is how foggy it is. That's the Humber estuary and somewhere in there is the Humber Bridge. Some real quick facts about the Humber Bridge for you, to be fair. The Humber Bridge is 1.38 miles long, 60 feet longer than the Golden Gate Bridge that's in San Francisco and it was open to traffic in 1981. Turning into a tall guard here and not a wildlife photographer. Right, let's crack on. Well, made it to location number one, and with the fog lifted a little bit, it's become absolutely glorious. The lighting, yeah, it's a little bit if you're looking directly at the light, it's a bit squinty, I will admit. But, for this location, it's absolutely splendid. Currently there is two mute swans, which uh, with this kind of lighting, I can't ask for more really. What a brilliant way to start the morning. Let's see, shall we, what else today might bring. That's location number one over and done with. Didn't stay there very long. It was more of a recon than anything else. And as you saw, I think it brought gold, really. Lovely mute swans. And of course, next to it, the hare in the field. Can't ask for much more than that to start a lovely, lovely morning. The fog has started to rise. So that means the temperature has as well. I've taken my jacket off because inside I was turning into a doner kebab. The jacket I actually have is a jack pine jacket thermally insulated it's a brilliant absolutely brilliant for winter but with spring now on the way i wouldn't wear it as much so i'll be using my other jack pine jacket in the future i'm currently now at a new location well, i say new location it's not to me it's pretty much my regular area this is a north cave wetlands nature reserve due to be when the new works are finished at the far end of the reserve it will be one of the largest in Europe. That's the nature reserve, that is. The array of wildlife here is absolutely bonkers. A sheet gets done pretty much every single day of what wildlife turns up by a great chap called Gary. Now, when he's done this and he presents it on Facebook, it's amazing to see what he's actually found during that day and, of course, other people have spotted. I honestly would say come down to this nature reserve, even if you're down south or up north, give this nature reserve a go. You won't be disappointed in the slightest, you really won't. Oh, see the bloody van that's here, amazing. The food, yeah, that's what I'm going to go and do now. I am starving, I may have had my banana, but that's not enough. I don't keep this for seek just by eating a banana yeah i'm thinking bacon boy yeah i'm being a fat morning morning what would you like 
Uh, can I have a bacon and tomato sandwich? You can. Thank you. Thank you very much. That sandwich definitely, definitely hit the spot. Always remember though, when you're finished eating food, make sure your wrappers go in the bin. It's so important. I mention this when I do school talks and I'll mention it now. Just put your rubbish in the bin. It's such a little thing to do and it's so easy to do. But it's so easy to have it misplaced on the floor and then it gets caught by wildlife. It's not needed. It's not needed at all. So just put it in a bin. Put it in a bin. So I'm currently at a position on the reserve which is called the... Look at that spider going up. And it's about to go near the, <laughs> near the lens. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> Anyway, I'm at a hide called the Bus Stop Hide. I think it's self-explanatory why it'd be called the Bus Stop Hide. It's not enclosed, it's open, it has some windows, circular ones and square ones, for us to view out of. I currently got my lens and camera set up to go over a reed bed, which has the Marsh Harriers in. I'm going to show you some footage now that I only just caught. What's happening there is looking around and figuring out where they're going to be putting the nests. They're going to start nest building. A couple of facts about marsh harriers. The female lays between three to eight eggs. And the when the fledglings are fully fledged, they are actually really hard to sex, simply because both male and female, new fledglings, they are of a brownish color with a creamy kind of head. So it's quite hard to sex them. Now you can find marsh harriers quite across the globe, all the way from over to Asia, into Europe. Oh, just come up now, marsh harrier. So let's just see. Basically, he jumped up with a bit of flap the wings and went straight down into the reeds. Don't know if you heard anything of that, what I just said, because I said that quite quickly, like a rapper. Remember, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and also like the video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook too. How can you forget about Facebook? Ooh, bim, bum. Ooh. That's the little trip at North Cave wetlands done. Absolutely boiling inside my car, so I'm going to get going and get the aircon switched on straight away and on to the next location. Let's go. This video is sponsored by Cotton Carrier, the ultimate in camera carrying harness systems, making sure your investment is kept safe whilst on your adventures. From a full torso or a sling style harness, Cotton Carrier have you covered. Three year technical warranty with all purchases. For a full view of their product range, visit www.cottoncarrier.com. Make sure to write down this coupon code or an exclusive 10% discount at checkout. Finally reached the next location. This one could be hit and miss, so bear with me and let's have a look what there is to see.
once this little wildlife spot checked over, as you've just seen, the array of wildlife is quite nice. It's, yeah, it's quite nice. Some birds shouldn't even be in there. They're not native to the UK, but it's nice that they're still hanging around and they're happy as Larry. On to the next location. Final one, I reckon, for today, because it's now just gone half past 12. Finally made it to the last location of this, shall we say, vlog. I don't know if you'd call this a vlog or not. I think it should be, really, with me uh, being here, there, and everywhere. Done about 95 miles in total. That's not including going to be driving home either. So, yeah, that's a decent bit of travel. But that's what you've got to do with wildlife photography. It's great to do it from your doorstep. It's brilliant, local parks and so forth. But if you've got wheels, strongly suggest get out there even if you don't have wheels taxi bus train aeroplane for crying out loud but any means of ways your own feet be motivated get up go out see what you can find because you just never know you might get a surprise i got a surprise today and i just got one then as a bird nearly pooed on me mm, nice it nice yep i'm here it's a nice location everything's starting to grow and blossom more and more and more and at this location last year i spent a good two months studying and watching a certain specific species i've already been here earlier in the month i was able to get a certain dance which uh, the pictures are here I'm just going to see if I can pretty much get some more video footage whilst I'm here. Might as well. Goes to the collection. I've got loads of footage of these. <laughs> but I absolutely adore them. They're my favourite species. And that is the Great Crested Grebe. Well, folks, that's all I wrote. That's me done for the day. Really, really happy with what's been done and what I've captured and the locations that I've been to. I'm gonna put some images up now of what was seen. There's a little bit of bonus as well, bonus content. When I turned up home, there was a starling on top of a satellite internet dish, giving it a bit of jip, basically telling the whole neighborhood, I am the one, I am in charge, you do as I say. Great way to actually end it. <laughs> Remember, subscribe, like, 
and check me out on Instagram and of course Facebook. Until next time, take care, take it easy, and bless you all. Say bless you all, be smooth. Anyway, here's the style. Oh, forgot one last thing as well. Be no Pepsi at all mentioned <laughs> until now. Yeah, I ran out halfway through the day. I need to go to the shop. I need to get myself some more. Ta ta!